Welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. We are back with humanity on the PlayStation 5. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, for those of you that have never heard of humanity, humanity is a puzzle game where you play as a small human that's been changed into a dog. And his objective is to lead a massive horde of humans to the light and rescue them. And along the way, there's going to be various different obstacles, various different puzzles you need to solve. There's going to be a lot of different actions you can do with your dog to lead the humans in different directions and stuff like that. Then as you progress through the game, you're going to start finding these golden characters known as Goldies. And they make the levels more harder where you need to plan your route a bit differently. So you can also rescue the gold character and navigate your human hall to the exit point. And then if you collect the Goldies, you unlock various other abilities that will make the game a little bit easier. Like being able to restart levels and keep all of your uh, actions in place and stuff like that. It's a very good, very cool puzzle game. It's basically a modern day version of Lemmings if you guys and girls ever played that on the PS1. So we're going to be starting this today. Um, I've played through about probably an hour or so of the game so this episode and the next episode should go well but after that it's probably going to be a bit of a nightmare. But yeah let's get straight into things. Now once you're done with story mode you've also got user stages created by other players and you can also make your own stages as well. And you can also play this game in uh, VR2 and VR1 if you want to but we're going to be playing it normally today so let's get straight into things. Apologies for the long intro but there'll be uh, chapters at the bottom of the video anyway if you want to skip the uh, intro. <laughs> I awoke one morning to find I was a dog. I heard a voice inside my head. Good morning. Man, I wish the voice inside my head in the morning was so friendly. <laughs> we have been waiting. There is work to be done. You must guide the people to the light. I've just worked out why they don't know where they're going. Of course they don't know where they're going. None of them have got eyes. <laughs> That's why they don't know where they're going. I don't even think they've got ears or a nose. Poor guys are completely blind and deaf. <laughs> have they got ears? I don't think I can zoom in any further. No, I think that might be as close as I can zoom in for now. Actually, let me... Uh... Oh no, they, they might have ears, I'm not sure. I don't think they've got ears, nose or mouth. <laughs> Lovely. Again, I heard the voice. Well, will you not lift up your voice? How else will you guide them? Well, they're not going to be able to hear me, are they? Yeah, that's the exit point where you need to lead the humans. Alright, so basically we're going to put a little command over here where we're going to tell the humans to walk this way and then this way. Okay, we already know that. And now they will walk to the exit point and we would have won. But obviously, the later levels are going to have goldies where things will be a little bit more challenging. If your humans do die though, or they walk off the edge of something and they die, you don't have to worry about it. It's not like lemmings where if too many people die, you fail. You basically can just let the humans die as much as you want until you work out what to do. Off they flew. But if the goldies die, then you will have to restart the level if you want to rescue them all. Up into the sky and into the light. There we go. Stage completed. I wish they was all this easy, but they do get a lot more complicated later on. Sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming, actually. Apologies if you can hear any of the lawn mowing that's going on outside my house. There's a bunch of gardeners in the school doing a bunch of work. So if you can hear that, I do apologise. A <laughs> Goldie Retriever. <laughs> Lovely. A gleaming figure floated in the air. Behold, this is Goldie. Goldie is all that people desire and value and worship at Jesus. Beyond even my reasoning, lead Goldie along with them into the light. Do so and you will be rewarded. 
Yeah, I do strongly recommend that you rescue a lot of the goldies. I mean, you have to rescue the goldies anyway, so uh, yeah, I do strongly recommend you rescue them because it will make the game a lot easier. This uh, this um, thing over here is basically going to tell you that humans can, oops, that humans can uh, climb up these walls. Also, humans can't drop further than three squares. If they go, if they drop from higher than three squares, they will die. So make sure you remember that as well. But as you can see, they're going to walk through here. They're going to bump into the goldie, and then they're going to take him straight to the exit point. Obviously, the prologue is relatively easy. It's once you get to the proper chapters that you have to start worrying about difficulty. Goldie descended and walked among the people. Lovely. Very nice. I do recommend you turn down the music if, you, if you're going to play this game though, because the uh, music that plays around in the background is, oh my god, it drives me insane. Especially when you're struggling on a puzzle. Okay, Goldie Rewards. Collect Goldie to unlock various rewards. Visit the Goldie Rewards menu to see the rewards you've earned and to check your progress towards future rewards. Yeah. But um, some of the, uh, when you get to like the actual game, when you're out of the prologue, you do have to rescue some Goldies. Not all of them, but you have to rescue some to, some to progress through the game. So don't skip all the Goldies, you do have to rescue some. But I'm going to try and rescue basically all of them. I'll try my best anyway for this playthrough. Baby steps. Ah, uh, this is probably when the game's going to tell you about people dying. If they drop from higher than three. Yeah. And they literally don't even let me stop them. I heard the voice inside my head. <laughs> Poor guys. You need not fear for them, nor mourn their loss. Though their bodies are lost, their spirits persist. And soon they will walk through the door once again. Lovely. It's like I'm leading a bunch of uh, spirits to heaven. That's what it's like, this game. Okay, so we're going to want them to come this way. Then maybe up a little bit. And then over here. And then this way. Then they can drop down here because it's only two squares. <laughs> that one just decided to kill itself for no reason. Okay. And then I guess I come this way. And they're going to drop down here and then we're going to come up this way. We can't drop down there because it's three squares high. And then we'll bring them this way. And then we'll bring them this way. Also, if you finish a level because too many of the humans have walked into the, uh, the exit point, but you've got a Goldie that's walking amongst the humans, if you don't press anything, and you wait, uh, you'll still unlock the goldie. So yeah, if you've got any goldies walking with a crowd and you've finished the level, don't press X to continue and you'll still collect the goldie. Because if you quit, if you just press X immediately, then you're screwed. Because <laughs> you might have a goldie that's walking right up there and then you finish the level and then it, 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 will, it will tell you when you finish the level, say walking next to the goldie. So just don't press X and you'll still unlock it. Because that's happened a couple of times when I was playing off camera. And then I proceeded to press X like an idiot. I love how many humans there are on the screen. It's crazy. It's flipping wild in some of the later levels. It is a very fun game, though. And I'm not normally much of a puzzle guy. Puzzles normally drive me insane, but this is definitely a game I enjoy playing. Lovely. There we go. Oh, and we've now unlocked the ability to fast forward because we've collected enough goldies. I probably won't use that very often. <laughs> I'm never confident enough to press the button. Okay, this is where things start getting a bit more complicated. Switch hitter is where you need to have your uh, goons walk over a switch. And it will like remove that shield up there and stuff like that. It's a bit of a pain in the ass actually. Because sometimes you need to sacrifice a couple of your humans. Not always, but sometimes you do. So, let's see. Oops, so I have Doggy come over here. Then I guess they can come over here. And 
now I can walk this way. And that will activate the uh, that will activate the shield, and it can come over here, drop. Lovely. And then they can drop down here, I think. And come this way, back up here. Oh no, no, no! Don't go home yet. No, what are you all doing? Oh shit! No shit! I got to stop. I got, I got to, uh, I got to retry. <laughs> shit! I put the, uh, I put the action in the wrong place, and I would have finished the level. <laughs> Jesus! God's sake! I'm gonna come down here, this way, and then we, this way. There you go. <laughs> and then they're gonna come along here. And then once they get here, I want them to come this way, up here. Okay, then I'm gonna come this way. They'll come through here, and then I want them to go this way, this way, this way, this way, and then they should be able to climb all the way up to the top. I suppose I should get some sort of thumbnail, actually. How do I? Uh, I don't think I can do it yet. Can I pause it yet or not? No. Eventually you can press triangle to pause it. And it's basically like a photo mode. It removes all of the... Uh, all of the icons and stuff. Hey, we did this one pretty damn well. Oh shit, actually I need to... Uh, oh, that, that was very close. I forgot to... I forgot to put an arrow up here. God, that would have ruined everything. <laughs> Because the thing is, the goldies are normally at the front of your uh, group, <laughs> and, and then if you haven't done any, if you haven't done something right, then you're screwed, and they're gonna walk to their death. Yeah, there we go. I just love the amount of humans, though. And it's a nice, solid 60 FPS, no dips or anything. You should take note, uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. This is how you make a solid game. <laughs> Obviously, there's not much going on, but still. Lovely. I'll try and get through the whole prologue in this video, and then in the next video, we'll jump into uh, story mission number one. This is what we want, the free camera. Yeah, this is, this is good for making thumbnails if you're also making YouTube videos, or if you just want to share a picture for Twitter or whatever. Okay, this is where we start unlocking the jumps then. This one might be a bit more. I can't remember if this one was complicated or not. Don't think it was. I think there's two groups of humans. We grant you a new power. Jump will make the people leap into the air. Take it and use it well. I, prob I probably won't use it well. The amount of times I've made people jump to their deaths because I uh, underestimate or overestimate how far they can jump. <laughs> okay, lovely. Right, I think there's going to be two streams of humans this time. Yeah. Right. So what we're going to do? Oh, is that already there? Oh, they're all, they're doing the, they're doing the game for me. Sweet. And we're gonna put you there. And we're gonna put a jump here. We'll put a jump here. And I think for these, hang on a minute everyone, hang on a minute, where you off to? Put that there. And we don't want them to, we don't want, why aren't they collecting, oh there we go. There we go, and then, I think there's only one goldie we need to get. They can, they can bump into each other. I don't think it causes an issue. But if you've got loads of humans crossing each other, actually. Oh, there we go, look at that. Now that's a nice thumbnail, isn't it? That is a lovely thumbnail. Sweet. But if they bump into each other and you've got everyone going and overlapping each other, it can make it very confusing. So try to avoid it if you can. It's like a mixture of Lemmings and uh, Intelligent Cube or uh, Kurushi from the PS1, the game I played last year in the flipping heatwave where I cheated right at the end. <laughs> I still feel dirty doing that. 
And I think somebody commented on the video telling me well done as well. And I literally, I cheated in that very video. And I, I don't know if it was sarcastic, but I think they were being genuine, telling me well done. I literally cheated at the end of that video. So maybe they didn't watch the whole video. Crowd surfing. Oh, this is where you've got to uh, pay attention to the water. I can't even remember doing this one. I can see two goldies though. Here I noticed a much larger pillar of light. Onward now, lead them into the light and to us. Yeah, this is where you've got to lead a lot of people to it. You come as well. It is time we met. Nice. We shall grant you another new power. Only this time, the power is within you. The power to dive into the people. Woof. <laughs> it's a bit filthy, that is. Use it now and use it well. Look at, look at everyone dying. <laughs> yeah, so basically, if you, if you can't reach the high places, you press X and then X again, and you can surf up the people. It is a little bit awkward to do it sometimes, I will say that. It's a little bit awkward. Assuming they need to jump here. Okay, so those are, they've got those guys there doing that. Is there any Goldie over here? No. Why is it uh, replicated my? Uh... Oh, there we go. They're actually jumping that. Why weren't they jumping? Okay. I'll put that there. No, no, no. No. Oh, here, here, here. Go on, here. Okay. Have we got all the goldies? I think we've, I think we've done it. I don't know how many goldies were here. Was it three? Oh shit, I don't know if I've had any, any gold people die. I don't know if there's any up there either. Oh, I must have. I must have got them all. I thought... I thought it was, uh, I thought it was free. Oh well, I'm probably just being dumb. Time passed. Who knows how long? I awoke in an unfamiliar place. <laughs> look, at, look, how he, look how he flipping runs. What's the, he's proper derpy, isn't he? It's like Goat, goat Simulator. What's the matter with your buddy? Well, I suppose I used to be a human. I'm probably not used to using my legs yet. <laughs> Four legs, I mean. I heard the voice inside my head. Ah, you finally made it. Do you recognize them? They are the people you led into the light. This is where the light delivers them. I had a thought. What is this place? The voice somehow heard me. These are the testing grounds. It is time for the trials to begin. Trials? Trials that you will oversee. Oh, great. The people lack what only your guidance can offer. <laughs> yeah, a pair of eyes, a pair of ears, and a flipping nose. <laughs> you will bring them here to us. I had more questions for the voice. Who are you? How are you inside my head? I like how you've even got the goldies that you rescued there as well. I like that. Of course. Where are your ma- <laughs> Of course, where are our manners? Think of us as this, a blue core. Oh, that's very helpful. That answers all of my questions. We are the first to watch over you. 
Heed our instruction well. Now come, let us waste no more time. Take the first step, prove you are worthy. There we go. I don't actually know how many uh, missions there are in this game. I'm assuming it's quite a lot, because this game was in development for quite a long time, actually. A statue-like object appeared before me with uh, eight trials by the looks of it. And I think there's also two extra trials as well that you can do. So uh, I guess there's technically 10 trials. Sequence one, awakening. If, if, if another statue like appears here, there's gonna be quite a lot of levels actually. But yeah, this, this game, I swear this game was announced a very long time ago, maybe even on the PS4. Yeah, I swear this was on, announced in like 2018 once, and then it just sort of re-emerged. It's one of those games where it just vanishes from the face of existence, gets re-revealed, and then does very well. I think it's re reviewed very well as well. It's a very good game, though, like I said. It's addicting. It's one of those games where you just want to have one more try, <laughs> and then you keep playing for like four hours. Okay. Oh, this one's a pain in the ass. I found myself somewhere new. This is the place of awakening, both of new powers and of understanding. As always, you are to guide the people to the light. They will do as you command. They seem quite fond of you. Oh, that's nice. We now grant you your first new power. I think this is a bigger jump, maybe. Yeah, high jump will cause the people to leap even higher into the air. I've got to remember how to do this. Right, let me grab the new power then. Right. So I think... We want these guys over here. to higher jump. And then we want them to do a little jump. And then I think these guys over here, I need them to press, I need some of them to press a button for me. I think I need them to go maybe here. Or is it the next one? I might have to restart this one. I need to try and remember how I get them. Uh... And also I've lost a Goldie as well. Right, let me uh, retry this one. I need, uh, basically I need, uh, I need to uh, get, I need to deal with these ones first. These are the ones you need to pay attention to. I can't remember how I get them to, um, Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, I remember. Never mind, never mind. Actually, I need to get these ones to do the high jump. These ones need to press the button for me. I need them to come on here. And then I need them to... And then they should land on the button. Yeah, so you just gotta, you just gotta time, this, time this well, basically. And then I'm gonna have a jump put here, so they go in there. Maybe a high jump? Hi, John. There we go. And we're going to put another high jump over here. Now that they've got that guy, I can now send them through there instead. We don't need that uh, door open anymore now. Yep, so that gold is rescued, and then this gold should get rescued as well now. It's so horrible watching the Goldie jump over holes because you panic. <laughs> You'll be like, fuck, I've done it wrong. I've done it wrong and he's going to die. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> that weren't too bad. I think, I think the thing that makes this game a lot easier... Ah, here we go. Now we can retry levels and we can keep, we can keep all of our placed commands. This is why you want to rescue the Goldies because you can unlock so many cool things. Also, I think you can uh, pause the game and you can find solution videos. I don't know if they tell you how to find the goldies, but they tell you how to at least finish the level. So, um, 
Yeah, but it, it counts how many times you do it and it puts it on your score at the end of the game to let everyone know that you're a cheater, basically. <laughs> so, we will try not to ever do that, though. We shouldn't need to. Hopefully. Okay, I think I got to here or here off camera. So, the next video shouldn't be too bad. But after that, it might be a bit of a nightmare. This one was a pain. Yeah. Long jump will cause humans to leap further than usual. Yeah, I'm going to have to be very careful on this one. I think I need to basically have a path of humans and I need to have enough of them where they're setting off these triggers once they stop walking on the on the buttons um, the platforms will vanish again Okay, so they're all going in a circle now. So if I've got enough of them going in a circle, and then I quickly change the direction, I don't know if this is going to work or not. Come on, come on. Come on, I think we've done it. But I think, I don't know if the platforms are going to start vanishing in a minute though. Maybe. No, I think we did it. There we go. <laughs> that, that went beautifully. Yeah, you see how it said walking then because he hadn't gone to the exit yet. That's what I'm saying. Don't press X too quick. Otherwise you can screw yourself over. Okay. Lovely jubbly. Alright, I'm going to end the video now, Wolf Wolfets. I think that went relatively well. We haven't completely ballsed up any level yet. But uh, next time, I will get through another two level, another uh, bunch of levels. But I reckon near the end of the next video, we're probably going to have to start doing some stuff blind. I know one of these levels around here I was having a bit of trouble on. But uh, yeah, let me, let me get onto the menu. Oh, nice. Look at it. Look at his pick. Hey, look, he's turning gold. <laughs> I guess once you collect all the goldies, it'll turn gold. Look at all these people in the distance. It's a very eerie kind of game. It's a bit like dreams, ain't it? Just an empty space where you can craft things. I did like dreams. That was a very good game. Media Molecule are working on something new now. Which I'm kind of glad. You know, dreams was good, but I want them to make like a new platformer or something. Something like Little Big Planet 4 or something like that. But yeah, anyway. Thanks for watching Wolf Muppets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you're enjoying this new playthrough. I'll be playing this for a while and then there's going to be a lot of new games releasing in June. So we should have quite a lot of stuff coming. And also I've got a uh, request from uh, one of my Patreons, uh, Tom Wolf, and he's requested I do Heavy Rain. Which I haven't played before and as is on Patreon I always take requests from people on Patreon and channel members. And uh, I'm going to be doing a blind playthrough of Heavy Rain. Probably either after this or with this. One of the two. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like, share and join the pack today.